hey welcome back to my channel his love her home for all you moms out there that like to explore or see books up close i will always do look in a book and that is going to be something that you will see on my channel um as i purchase things as i choose curriculum so today the book that we are going to look in is master books let's talk science adventure on planet earth level three and i am currently using this for my third grader and we're just gonna take a look inside so this is master books let's talk science adventures on planet earth and this is level three this is meant for third graders um, this is a very conversational curriculum. As you can see, this is your table of contents. And it gives you a course description, course objectives, note from the author, the overview, tips, materials that you do need, schedule that you should follow, bonus activities, glossary, and answer key. So everything is in one book when it comes to this. This is your course description, your course objectives, explore elements of ecology, including the food chain, climates, forest structure, symbiotic relationships, stewardship, and decomposition. Discover that science teaches many lessons about God and our relationship with him. Learn to watch for elements of God's design as they study science. So, and this is just a note from the author. This is your overview. You do need a science notebook. In the lessons, I will show you. They might have to copy down the definition or um, draw a picture, which is cool. Kids like to do that, especially younger kids. They like to draw and have fun with art. The next thing you might see is materials needed. There's really not a lot of materials needed um some things that might be expensive might be like animals to go with the projects you do need four shoe boxes because you will be creating four biomes for the entire school year um it gives you tips to complete your science notebook and some additional tips there's also bonus activities and digging deeper there are two other books that they do suggest for this or three um god's big book of animals and these other two about mammals and about birds i did not get the extra books because i feel like you could just get books from the library that talks about each thing you're talking about and they can just read the books from the library they do give you a materials list which if you look at it it is not a lot um and some of the stuff is mostly basic stuff you can get from you can use at home the only thing is animals like small animals, you can get them from Michael's. Sometimes you can get them from the dollar store. The list is not that long. Some weeks you don't need materials at all. This is a basic schedule uh, for this curriculum. It's basically to read like two pages a day and then you do activity on Friday. We tend to do ours in three days, but it is a full laid out schedule for you to use this is what it looks like it shows you a girl and a boy and basically they're talking back and forth to each other and this is what day one looks like it's two pages and they might have you to read scripture read this together as a family apply it say a prayer and then this is for um your notebook so you basically start at day one day five is because i have already ripped out the other three pages because we already done them but on day five this shows you today he drew a squirrel and they give you samples of some other kids drawings just so they can see that you know everybody draws different everybody's art is different and they give you the definition that you write in your notebook and then we go into the next week and then they give you what you need for the week but as you can see as i flip through and my son has already completed some of these pages 
that this is very conversational. They do include scriptures in here and your child will do a lot of drawing in his science notebook besides doing the four projects for the year. And it just keeps going and going and going. It is very conversational. This is a project that they throw in. One thing I do like is that the projects are very easy. Construction paper, stuff that you already have in the house, which is kind of what I like about it. As you go along, you see it's kind of the same way all the way through. They might have some different things in there. Continuing to learn about all the biomes, trees and plants, photosynthesis. It does cover a good amount of stuff. And like I said, the hands-on part of it is very easy with stuff that you already have in the house. The only hard thing you would need to get for this curriculum is most likely buying the animals for the projects. Or if you want to make animals out of paper, you can do that as well. Make it easy for yourself. Don't spend the money. Use what you have at home. And yep, that is what it looks like. Also in the back, there is a glossary that comes along with the book so all the words that they are learning is inside the book um, the lessons are short um, except for the projects the projects do take a little bit longer it does touch on animal death if you did want to know that the last thing i want to show you is what a sample of the project might look like and here we go so this is the Boreal Biome Project. This is everything you need. Construction paper, glue, shoebox, scissors, white paint and brush, glitter glue, 1 8 inch wooden dowel, tape, Play-Doh clay, small model animals, small twigs or toothpicks. And that's it that you need. And you take all week to make it. It says, oh, today you're going to add all this. And then you go to the next day and it tells you to do this part. And then on the third day, you add a little bit more to your shoe box. Then on the fourth day, you add a little bit more to your shoe box. And then on the fifth day, you have your final product, which is kind of cool because it helps your kids learn to follow instructions and do things on their own which that is something I do like. The only thing I can say is if you want to invest in the other books to add a little bit more, um, I am a lover of master books, but I feel like I do get stuff from the library to add to it just to give it a little bit more because it is a very open and go and gentle curriculum to me. That is just my opinion. So thank you for taking a look at Adventures on Planet Earth Level 3 by Master Books. If you like seeing books, check out my channel, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.